Hey guys, Pokefan Dog here, and in this video I'm going to be catching my third Pokemon, which is a Gibble. Um, I'll be catching him as a level 19 boy, um, I'd rather have a Garchomp as a guy, just because, um, I do find, like, six Gibbles, one, a girl level 20, um, a couple girls level 17, and a girl level, and a guy level 17. And then when I find the guy level 19, I was just like, you know what, I'm just not even going to keep trying to get a Gibble level 20 that's a guy. So I catch one that's level 19. But anyways, so you come through here, you can get a burn heal. Um, don't talk to that guy, he'll just tell you the obvious stuff, but you're walking the walkthrough. Walk it, you're watching the walkthrough, so you probably, well, probably don't need to talk to those guys. But anyways, um... You talk. You can talk to the berries and get the berries. You go over here, battle a ponyta. Sorry, I'm just doing it really fast so I can actually fit in my video. All right, so I can actually do fit my video within the 10 minute time. So I get a super repel, which will be helpful for the um in the cave. And then that guy right there that you saw, he has two onyxes that are level 18. So I advise you to maybe just have like a fighting water grass, something along those lines. Um, they, one is a guy, I think both of them are a guy, and they take two mock punches to kill them both, level 30, and I don't switch out because I know it'll take a long time. But the main focus is Wayward Cave in this video, um, not just this route, um, I do switch my Pokemon to Staravia. I do have a Pokemon battle, I'm just like, I'm just gonna run, there's no way I don't wanna take on the Geodude. But anyways, I just, um... You can go in the little cave up there, um, and I slow it down. And so, um, you come over here and you can get a dust stone if you keep going all the way to the left. And I think I use a repel after this battle. I think I run. Yeah, I run since it's a Geo dude. Um. Gosh, um, I run. Yeah, finally. Goodness gracious. Holy crap. I run, use a repel. Um, I just use the re re repel. I'll be using a lot of rep repels um, in this walkthrough, so I go ahead and I advise you to go ahead and stock up on some. But anyways, um, you can come over here. And you can get a max ether. Sorry, it glitches here. And, um, yeah, that was a little glitch. So you have to um, do that. Just follow my steps on this route. There's all or you also can get a rare candy, which I'm saving until my Infernapes get to a level 35. Um, and my my Inferno gets to level 35. Um, I go over here and you can get a Grip Claw, which is I guess okay. You can sell it or you could use it if you want. Does it really matter? So there's the rare candy. You come down here, you can get the rare candy. Um. Not that hard. Go down, down, left, up, miss, fail, and success. All right. So if you come down here, fail again, and you can, and I finally do it. And if you come all the way down and you take a right, and here's TM26, which I'm gonna be teaching to my Gibble at the end of this video. But um, yeah. So that is an 100 accuracy, 100 power ground move. It's a very, very, very powerful move. Repels effect wore off, and now I'm going to be searching for the Gibble. And so there's the Zubat, I'll just show you. I just pause, resume, pause, resume on my thing, so you'll see, be seeing a lot of Pokemon switches here. I speed it up, because it takes a while. And I just show you a lot of my different Pokemon, and the Pokemon that I bat battle. Um, a Bronze or level 20, um... I run, and I don't know why I'm not pausing it now. I think I just finally decided to pause it, but I don't know. And I'm running so many now. There's a Gibble level 17. And I decide not to catch it because it's a girl and it's level 17. I could do better. Um, So I just pause, resume. A Zubat level 19 had not trying to catch a Zubat, but if you want a f good flying Pokemon, I guess that you could teach a Sludge Bomb and all that stuff. It'd be helpful. Um, so I find a Geodude, and um, you 
you can't I keep looking and it is a while before I find the gibbles I just show you a lot of different kinds so yeah um here's a bronze ore um and now I find the gibble oh and actually in this video my egg hatches And I find the gibble level 19 finally. There's just a lot of different gibbles that I showed you that I've found. And this video, or in this ca capturing of the gibble, isn't um that long, I guess. Well, actually, yeah, it kind of is. So, yeah, um, I used quick attack, and I really, if I, if I would have killed it, I would have been very mad, and I probably just would have stuck to catch keeping the giratina. But, you know, I was just like, whatever, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to try to catch it, and I fail there. Um, Sandstorm Rages, um, is a Pokeball, nope, no catch, um, <clears throat> but in this video, I don't really do a lot, well, actually, wow, I do a lot, actually, um, I catch, I catch the Gibble, I hatched my egg, which was a Togepi, which is really cool, um, I also get a Rare Candy and TM26 Earthquake, I explore Wavewood Cave, and yeah, and that's basically this video. Um, that's basically all I do in this video, actually. Um, kind of cool, I guess. Um, really not much, not that amazing. I mean, I I guess Gibble Garchomp is gonna be the most popular Pokemon in my the most popular Pokemon in my walkthrough. But yeah, so um, I catch him, and then I show you the stats of him. If I would ever select them, or how I did. So I'm gonna teach him earthquake. To gibble, yes. I teach him earthquake. Finally, I forget sandstorm because sandstorm is useless. But anyways, and now I'm exiting the cave. I think I just run from this battle. Um. Staravia intimidates the Geodude. So I actually finally get out of here without facing another wild Pokemon. It's about eight minutes into the video, and I have I'm glad I caught a Gibble. That's a guy that's actually a decent level. Um And so I battle one more Pokemon I don't battle it, I run from one more Pokemon. And it's a Gligger. And I think I do, um... I think... Oh, no. I don't, actually. So I run, and then there's another battle. And it is a glitter, and I do realize that I'm probably gonna um battle it just so I can um and I battle it and I and I'll show you how the experience share works. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Okay, but anyways, um, I go down the bridge, and yeah. You can cut this tree. <laughs> Sorry, I just did something funny. And you cut this tree, and um, you can get a elixir or ether or something over here. It's kind of cool. Um, if I would hurry up, come on, Sea Dog, what is wrong with you? Um, but whatever, whatever, I'll get it, and it's a PP up. But I guess that's all in this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And, um, yeah, guys, I guess I'll see you in the next video. So, peace, guys. Have a great day.